Aloha, we are Megan and Tina. We left our home in Hawaii to travel North America in our Jeep. Subscribe to our channel for new adventures every Friday. Join us where the pavement ends and the adventure begins. So something's happening here. There are many things inside. I don't really like it. Well, there's a reason for there's it. There's a reason. It's going to get better. <laughs> Look, this roof tin is exactly the yeah. right size for Tina. I like it. This is my size. Did they call yet? No. Tina's waiting. She's They're getting waiting. impatient. I am getting impatient. So they haven't called yet about our new baby, but we are... Oh, any minute now. It's already 3 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, finally, it's here. This is the uh, Roof Nest Sparrow Eye. So, okay, we have a problem. Yes. We have a big problem. So, um, the roof tent's great, but yes. the mattress is brand new and it smells so bad. I, we can't sleep in it. There's no way we can sleep on that mattress tonight. Do the smell. Have, oh I don't have God. any idea how long it's gonna take to air it out. I'm sure it'll be better if it's we air horrible. it out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's that's not gonna work tonight. Other so. than that, we love it <laughs> and we're anxious to use it, but we can't. Okay, it's the next morning, and we're. Uh, and we did not sleep in this parking lot, by the way. No, we didn't sleep in the parking lot, but we are gonna take off here and uh, hit the road. But we uh, want to check, see what's inside, and I'm missing a couple of things still. Oh, there's all kinds of crap up here. Oh well, grab. Crap. Can you grab there's it? Can you want to climb in there and grab the stuff? Yeah. All right. Okay, get in. Whoa, this is a game changer, man. All right, so this is the uh, first time we've actually been up here. Um, it smells better than it did yesterday, so I think we're probably gonna sleep in here tonight. Um, we're at this uh, super scenic office park. There was some stuff, we thought there was some stuff in here and we were right, so we had to, wanted to get the stuff out and see what there was, so. Okay, so we found something into what the heck is that? I think it's a freebie of some kind. I don't know what the heck this is, but we're stopping by storage this morning, so I want to figure it out before in case it's something we yeah. don't bring with us. It's spring loaded, whatever it is. Oh, oh. All right, so we're here from the Walmart parking lot, completely reorganizing our rig and dismantling oh half God. of our sleeping platform. We're having to just totally rethink our entire organization. Yes. It's gonna be for the better though. We bought new water containers. We've bought bins. It's, it's be a little for the crazy better. in here. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a little crazy in here. Look, it's Tina's birthday. <gasps> Perfect size Happy cake. Happy birthday, bird. Thank you. All right, so uh, we weren't sure how flappy this tent was gonna be when the wind's really strong. Um, and we're in it right now, and we're really lucky the wind is super strong right now. There's kind of like this thunderstorm coming up. Um, and we're in complete like, we're just like parked on the plane. Um, there's no wind break. And uh, like, it's pretty flappy, um, but you know what? It would actually be barely just like loud anyway um, if we were inside the Jeep so it seems all right um, we're not exactly faced like directly into the wind either with the clamshell design it helps if you um, face the tent like directly into the wind um, we're kind of like sideways to it so it's super flappy compared to what it would normally be um, and like it's not great but it's not too bad either so um, the really nice thing is that uh, a lot of times with the ground tent, when it's really windy, um, the dust blows up under the rain fly and like our sleeping bags get full of dust. Um, and it doesn't seem to be doing that up here. So that's definitely an improvement already. So overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Um, and the wind is not as much of an issue as I actually thought it was gonna be. So I'm pretty happy about that. So we've used this, we've used our roof nest, rooftop tent, like almost half a dozen times. We love it. But we did notice something last night when we were driving on the freeway for a distance. We about lost our 
extendable ladder. This was coming off. The straps came loose. I don't know how we were lucky enough to not have this blow off and the freeway hit the cards behind us. So we've got these now. We've had to strap these down with some ratcheting tie downs and now we're all good. Yeah, the, uh, the bag and the straps that it came with were just not sufficient to withstand the yeah. wind driving on the freeway. Um, so if you're gonna use the, the ladder the bag and store the ladder on top, uh, we recommend switching to ratcheting tie downs. Um, yeah. We did that this morning and we haven't had any trouble since. Yeah, um, nice tight. So. In there. Uh, the hookless straps would be the best. Yeah, because the, the way it goes, uh, I'm gonna hand the camera up and Tina can show you how it's strapped down. So this is how we have this strap down. This is one of our um, hookless straps and on the top of the roof nest. You can see it's got four of these, so you can wrap it around. And that's what we do. So we have, uh, there's a second one on this side that matches that, the strap can go through. And that is, has done the trick. And we have another one here that we also use, but we didn't have a second strap, so we're just using a uh, regular tie down, ratcheting tie down. But it works great. I definitely recommend this. It's got uh, two uh, snap downs on each side, um, and then it's got one that kind of pulls down with a, a little uh, ratchet strap on the end. Um, and you can get to all of these without putting the ladder up or anything. Here's the other one on the other side. Yeah, just open that one. And then um, I've been just stepping up on the bumper to we put this little strap through um, to make it easy to get up. Uh, and I velcroed this down so that the little strap here wouldn't flap in the wind. Um, you just press the little lever, unthread this, and it's free. So after you do that, all you have to do is just give it a little nudge. And once you get about to that point, the gas struts take over. And it just pushes itself up. Um, you can't really use the ladder on the back unless you take the tent all the way back here um, because of the angle of like the ladder and the two little ladder hooks um, the spare tires in the way especially ours because we have our max track stuck to it. Um, so you, uh, you can use, attach it to the side but we don't use it. Yeah we just don't use it. There's three sets of these little ladder hooks and um, there's two on each side so we could be using the ladder on the side, uh, but we've just been climbing up on the spare tire because it's easy. That way the ladder, you don't have to take it down, put it back up. Um, so once you have it topped up, it has this little um, rain skirt to keep rain from going in the, the little gap there. Yeah, make sure that's down all the way around because it has been raining the last couple of days. It is so good. Oh my up. goodness. It's got this long strap to pull it down, and then you, when you get most of the way down, you can pull it down with this one. Um, and we'll demonstrate how you do that. Yeah. This has a little rain fly, but most of the time I just roll it up. Um, and it's got these little uh, toggle closures so that you can roll it up and keep it out of the way when you're going to come out. Really notice we're all bundled up. It's really cold here. Um, there's been a rainstorm, and we're up around 8,000 feet. So it's, I don't know, 55 degrees or so. It's pretty cold. Yeah. Um, then you have just the zip closure here, and then you have the, the windows on the sides. And you're all set up. Our pillows, our blankets, our sleeping bags, everything's already in here. So if you want to come on up, we'll show up the rest of it. So what's really nice about the way that we have it positioned, uh, which is slightly forward, is that um, you have a little ledge back here, and we just climb up and then take our shoes off and you can kind of stuff them under the tent. So if it's raining or anything, um, they'll stay dry. And then all you have to do is kind of sit in the edge and stick your feet out, put your shoes back on to get down. So it makes it really convenient, um, especially like if you get up in the middle of the night, you know, we have our shoes right here and you just stick them on to get down. All right, so I'm inside now. Um, here's the opening to the tent. You can see we have both of our pillows in here. Um, it's almost wide enough for the two pillows side by side. You have to kind of smush them a little because um, the struts are over here. These are the gas struts that pop it up. It's got the windows. They have the mesh on the inside and the uh, solid material on the outside. 
so you can open however much you want to stay dry, warm, cool, whatever. You can see I've got just a fitted sheet on it, um, but it's got a mattress. It's about three inches thick, um, and there's kind of this little kind of egg crate thing under here. Um, it's called an anti-condensation mat, which I guess is supposed to keep moisture from accumulating on the underside of your mattress so it doesn't get all moldy. And then we just have a regular top sheet um, and we have our zero degree sleeping bags. We've got them zipped together because um, we like to sleep together under them. Um, and then back here we actually have our um, summer sleeping bags in mesh bags and we also have our blankets, um, some of our summer bedding. So we just kind of push whatever bedding we're not using down to the foot because it's long enough um, that it's not interfering with our feet. And then we use whatever we want up here. Earlier in the video, you probably saw that it had um, kind of like a little mesh gear loft up here. Um, I took it down because everything I put in it would kind of slip out the bottom um, and end up on the bed. And it was kind of in the way, so I just took it down um, and stored it. And then each side has these little pockets like to put your glasses and your flashlight and stuff in. So the other thing it comes with is this rain fly. Um, and it's basically held in place with these two little tension rods. You can see it kind of has like a hook on it on this end. And then on this end, there's like a little pocket in the rain yeah. skirt. And you can see that it's um, going into a little hole right there. And then this is kind of mysterious. Um, it came with a little like click light. And then this is a little switch. Um, it doesn't seem like it's wired into anything and the click light is rechargeable. So we're not really sure what to do with this. Um, if you know how it works, leave us a comment and tell us because um, we haven't really used it yet. So now you guys have seen kind of the uh, unboxing and uh, first impressions of our roof nest. Again, this is the um, roof nest sparrow eye clamshell style. Um, so we're gonna do a kind of full review uh, after we've been using it for about a month. Um, so when that's ready, I'm gonna link that right up here. But for now, um, we're really enjoying the rooftop yeah. tent. Um, I think it's great. Yeah, now that we got used to how it opens and closes, it, it's yeah. a game changer. It's for really us. easy to use. Um, it's easy it. to open, easy to close. Uh, it's really nice to just be able to pop it up and go to bed wherever without having to take anything out or um, like set up the sleeping platform. So, right. and yeah, then, we're really enjoying it. It's nice. And if it's a little bit windy, be sure to face it into the wind. So that yeah, that's the, yeah, the other thing that we've of learned that. so far is that it really needs to be faced in the wind to keep it from being flappy. <laughs> yeah, we experienced that one night. <laughs> we've had a lot of wind this past week, so yeah. it's been a, a good introduction. Yeah, but so far, we love it. Yeah, we like it so far.